What's up, you guys? My name is Michael Tandridge, and I run a marketing agency. We help clients with website designs, graphic design, and ad campaigns. And this YouTube channel is for business owners and helping them market and grow and advertise their business. In today's video, I want to go over something that, well, Honestly, not many other YouTubers talk about. They talk about it in a way from a business perspective, and that's great, but uh, I wanna talk about it in a way that not many other business owners talk about. And once I figured this out, it really helped me grow my business. And that topic is why you aren't successful in your business or at the level that you want to be at. Now, this video isn't by any means supposed to be some kind of motivational post that I put up that's supposed to hype you up and get you all uh, excited about running your business. This is actual practical things as to why you aren't successful successful in your business or at the level that you want to be at. And if we're honest with ourselves, as business owners, we are never really at where we want to be at. And there's always that next level. So how exactly do you get there? Or how do you get out of this rut? Or how do you really start getting your small business going? That's exactly what I'm going to talk about. Now, I like to break these things down into two different things. The first one is balance. Each part of your entire life dictates how successful you are in your other parts of your life. Let me show you a quick illustration of what I mean by that. Okay, the first part of the circle is relationships. The next part of the circle is your health. The next part of the circle is your mindset. And the last one is your work. Now, I'm sure we've all experienced this, but if you are not feeling healthy, you aren't going to the gym, you are feeling overweight, you're not liking the way you look in the mirror, well, guess what? Your mindset's pretty crappy. You're not confident when you do any sales at work and then your relationships suck. Or if you're having a bad relationship with your spouse or someone that you're dating, you're constantly thinking about that, puts you in a bad mood. You don't want to go to the gym so your health starts to go down. You have a bad mindset about it and then your work uh, suffers because you don't want to do any sales calls or get your work done because you're constantly thinking about that relationship. Same with all the other ones. If your work is going poorly and you aren't getting any sales and you're not bringing any money in, then your relationship gets a lot of stress put on it. Your health goes down because you don't have any time to go to the gym because you're focusing on work. And then your mindset is going down the drain too because you're being super negative about things. All right, now let me show you something else too. A lot of times what business owners do, and I've done this a ton, is they think, all of it is encapsulated by work. So if you did all your work and you worked your heart hardest and you brought in a ton of money, then your spouse will be healthy, happy, and then your health would be good, and then your mindset would be good because you're bringing in a ton of money. The problem with that is you're spending your entire life Focus on the work side of stuff and not putting any effort in the relationships, health, or your mindset. The reason I'm bringing this up is because, like I said, no other YouTuber that I've seen actually really talks about this. Your entire life has a bunch of other stuff in it. It has relationships, it has your faith, it has your health, it has business. It is all this stuff that you have to have balance in order for your business or your work side of stuff to be successful. Something that I've always fallen into is I've always been a workaholic and I just work all the time. And I'm like, okay, if I focus in on this 110% and bring in a ton of money, then everything else will be happy. And what ends up happening is, is I end up stressing out my relationship with my spouse I and my kids. My health goes down the tube. And then I also have a really bad mindset over time because all the other things are, are uh, suffering. So the point is, is if your business isn't successful or not at the point that you want it to be, uh, I would highly suggest you take a step back and look at how your relationships are and how your mindset is and how your health is. I'll give myself as an example. When I took a step back and put more time and effort into my relationships um, and put more time and effort into the gym and put more time and effort into my mindset, my business ended up exploding. And I, again, I can't stress this enough. Like by going to the gym, and doing that extra rep, it gets, sets you in the mindset of like doing that extra sales call. And then when you look at yourself in the mirror, you're like, hey, I look pretty good. And then you're confident when you're doing your sales and you're confident when you're working on your business. And then when you're eating healthier and just like for myself, I just pretty much eat meat and vegetables at this point and hardly any carbs. And I feel wide awake. I mean, obviously I feel tired sometimes and I need caffeine sometimes, but who doesn't need caffeine? If you don't need caffeine, you're a crazy person. But by changing my diet and going to the gym, like I physically feel way better and more confident for my work. And then my mindset is a lot better. And then I have a better relationship with my spouse. And then again, that all funnels back to the fact that it helps me out with my work. So if you're so focused on wanting to make your business successful, take that step back and look at where in your other points in your life, you should be uh, putting more effort in in order to get that better balance uh, through every single uh, piece of your life. There's also a book that I found on this. Um, it's called How to Make 
happen. And I'll put a link in the description below for that. Uh, this book is awesome because it's short. I don't like reading. And so um, I was able to breeze right through it and it gets to the point and it breaks down all this stuff too. So I'd highly suggest you uh, read that book. Now, the second reason you aren't successful in your business, and I hate to say this, but you aren't a savage about it. And what I mean is, is you aren't going out and taking what you want. You aren't going out and like getting the leads that you want and getting the sales that you want. I find myself a lot of times, I end up getting into this zone where I'll do some sales, bring in a bunch of projects, and then I'll just focus in and just work on those projects. And what happens is, is then my sales process and the whole funnel and everything just gets super stalled out. And then I get to a point where I don't have any new leads coming in. And obviously you have referrals and stuff, but no one wants to just live off of referrals. If you want your business to grow and be successful, you have to go out and grab it. For myself personally, what that means is I literally have to get on the phone and do cold calls, or I have to go and send personalized videos to people. And the point is, is every single time I do that, and I don't want to do that, but every single time I do that, I bring in more leads, I bring in more sales for my business, and my business grows. If I don't do that, it doesn't grow. And that might mean you need to do sales calls, that might mean you need to send personalized videos out, that might mean you need to go knock on some doors and meet some people, that might mean you need to like, actually handwrite some letters and mail those letters out. But the point is, is you need to take that effort and put it into growing your business. But the point is, is you need to be a savage about it and go out and get what you want. That's there. Again, I'm not trying to be motivational about this, but the point is, is, is that's exactly how business works. I find a lot of times clients are like, hey, can we do ads? Like, can we send some email marketing pieces out? And yeah, that's great. Like we we're, those get you leads, those get you sales, and that does grow your business. However, if you really wanna grow your business, I find, especially in the service side of stuff, and maybe I'm just speaking service side specifically, but like going out and meeting people, interacting with people is just a numbers game. If you wanna grow your business, then you need to go out and make that work happen and then grow your sales. And a lot of people are way too nervous about doing cold calls or sending personalized videos out and looking stupid or any of that kind of stuff. You have to get that out of your mind and go and grab what you want. And on top of that, way too many people, in my opinion, are way too concerned about spending too much time doing those things and putting effort in and would rather take an easy route. That's what every single one of your competition is doing. They're taking the easy route, they're going and doing ads and not doing anything, they aren't meeting people, they aren't going and, do, and like making a personalized effort. And if you do that, I guarantee that's gonna make you stand out from everyone else. I guarantee that's gonna get you more referrals. I guarantee that's gonna grow your sales. I'm also blown away too by the fact that growing a business is actually super easy. Now, I, I know I'm saying that from the aspect of I'm growing my business over the past 10 years, but the point is, is if you go and do the sales aspect and actually put the effort in, it's going to grow, period. That's it, that's, that's how business works. You put the sales in, put the effort in, and it grows. And truthfully, I wish this was something I could go back and tell my old self that. I spent a lot of time like working on making my website look good. And it's very important to have a good website, but like you get to a point where you're tweaking it too much. Or like your logo, you're tweaking it too much. Or your copy, you're tweaking it too much. Like it needs to be very good, obviously. And that's why you hire professionals like my marketing agency. But you have to get it to a point that's good and then go do the sales. Growing your business comes down to just going out and getting it. That's it. You have to be a savage about it. You have to go out and grab it. And if you're not doing that, your business is not going to grow. All right. So that's what I have for the video. Again, not for it to be a motivational thing, but it's more of just, I find that other YouTubers don't talk about this. You know, that's it. It took me forever to figure this out. And I wanted to break this down for you guys because I want it to be like, Hey, here it is on a silver platter, like exactly how to grow your business. And Again, it's super important to focus on every single facet of your life because if your relationship is good, then your business will be good because you aren't thinking about your relationship all day. If your health and your body is good, then you'll feel confident in yourself to grow your business. It's that you have to have the entire piece together to be able to grow your business. And then on top of that, in order to grow your business, you have to be a savage about it. You have to go out and grab what you want, do the sales, do the uncomfortable thing, and do it over and over and over again, and then your business will grow. All right, so that's the video, guys. If you want more videos on how to market and advertise your business, make sure to subscribe. If you got any value out of this video, uh, please like it and comment below. Uh, it helps get the video out to more people. It helps my channel grow and uh, help more people out. So uh, thanks for taking the time to watch the video, and I'll see you in the next one.